Hey guys, sorry to keep you waiting about part uh, three, four, whatever. Technically it's three since then, uh, part two had uh, two parts to it and I mislabeled some things. But anyways, um, once you got everything installed into your case, I'm just going to continue where I left off if, from what I remember. Once you got everything installed, it, it should look like, look like this. All the cables tucked away behind things or if you have a rail like you can see right here, here's the little pin the power connector for the um, uh, 4 or 8 pin I just tucked it right here that's it it's out of the way tuck as many cables as I can one and once you connect the main pin connector connect that connect the Molex and the only thing different with this one compared to the other board the uh, when the connectors for the speakers power uh, reset switch etc etc mine's right here while the other one was at the bottom down here somewhere but um, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, if you have a, a big card like this, um, once you screwed everything in, uh, your mother, your case, or if you bought a screw kit, just get the screws that fit this. I'm missing one here, so forgive me. Screw them, those two in. Now with these video cards, the bigger ones, they take up two slots. So remember, you gotta remove the expansion slot covers right here. Um, I suggest doing this, uh, attaching the power connector. To the video card first because like right here it's kind of hard to find but uh once you do that you connect it it's locked in uh hide this cable somewhere and with the only other thing different oops only the other thing different here is uh my hard drives they're uh connected to this uh hard drive um slider thing the little i guess you can call it uh a harness I guess you can call it and mine goes in there I have the, my hard drives backwards because I can hide the cables better that way instead of having them come up here into here and uh, oh yeah and for your fans this one this takes the uh, Molex connector so I just plugged it up to the power supply directly or if you have a Molex uh, an extra Molex one you can just hook it up and hook the fans to it um, let's see right here I got my uh, RAM cooler the RAM's right behind this, and I just found a three-pin connector. It's in between these cards. It's back here, so see, it's kind of hidden. You can't see it, but uh, and like with the uh, CPU power connector, um, you can just kind of like tuck it on the top of the motherboard, or tuck it off to the side, or something. And um, oh yeah, if you have a sound card and you're taking up two uh, vid uh, video card, if you put using two video cards. Um, just put the sound card in the middle because I have an extra PCI slot because there's one right below it uh, this one but I can't get to it so I just put the sound card here and um, of course you know have your CD-ROM D well, DVD-ROM drive or whatever connected up and oh yeah if you have front USB um, you can't see it but with your motherboard it should come with a little thing like that See if I can find a spare one. I probably can't. I'm probably using all of them. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, no. Well, here's an example. Yeah, I use this cable for an example. Um, like if you have USB, this end would be connected to your motherboard, where it says a USB can be connected for extra USB ports, and this would be connected to the uh, front uh, USB thing. Um, oh yeah, another tip, most fans you probably see has this tiny, tiny little screw to put the uh, fans in, to screw it into the fan, it screws into the fan, but with the thermal take fans that I'm using, I they give you this long bolt with a little nut, and uh, you just screw it in that way instead of sitting there forcing the uh, tiny ass screw to go into the little, um, hole then screw into the fans. I found the thermal take fans much more convenient because they give you these long bolts. Um, and if your uh, motherboard has a fan for the uh, north bridge south bridge thing, connect that up right here as you can see. Once you have everything connected, uh, it's uh, time to power the computer. Ah, green light. If you connect everything up correctly, Mine's a blue light, so this would be normally green, and then you have your hard drive activity uh, LED. Um, once you get everything booted up, everything should look something like this, like right here. Everything starts to load. And then the only thing different 
Only thing different is when you put the Vista CD in, you have the loading screen, whatnot, boot from CD, like you just saw a minute ago. Um, you say boot from CD, and then you go through the process, and then when you're done, you go through a screen like this, a similar screen, and then you just follow the instructions from there. Anyways, that's uh, uh, the end of the video of uh, building your own computer. Uh, you have any questions, message me, leave me comments or whatever. Um, any tips on, if you need any kind of help, anybody, please don't hesitate to contact me. I don't have that many people uh, subscribe to me. I only, I'll probably get like, I'll probably have like 50 people contacting me so far. But um, if you need help, just contact me. I'll give you some pointers and advice and whatnot. But don't hold, it, don't hold it against me if you don't like it. Anyways, that's my video review on how to build your own computer. Take it easy. Oh yeah, and there's one more thing I forgot to mention when installing the fan. Um, to know which way a fan intakes air and exhaust air, where it blows it out, right here on this side, you see how it's open. There's not no nothing in the way. It's just a open up. It's open. But on this side, you see there's like a plastic part or whatever back here. See this, and up here it doesn't have that. So the air pulls in from this side and pushes the air out this side. So basically where we see the plastic part right here, in case it doesn't have arrows which way it points, um, usually where the, uh, most of the time is where you see all the cables behind there. So remember, it intakes air this way when the, it's open, but right here where they got stuff in the way, um, that's where it blows air out. So in, out. So for on the back of the case, you want to have this pulling air from the inside to the outside of the case on the back. But on the front, you want to have it blowing in. So hopefully that would be less confusion. Well, in case you don't know which way it goes, uh, you can always plug it in and feel which way the air is coming. So anyways, that's it.